Ethiopian Airlines, the New Spirit of Africa. With over 14,000 employees, the Ethiopian Airlines is considered the largest and most successful airline company in Africa in terms of passengers carried, destinations served, fleet size, and revenue. On the world stage, Ethiopian Airlines is the fourth largest airline by the number of countries served. This is one of Africa's oldest and greatest companies of all time. In this video, you will be looking at how the Ethiopian Airlines began and why it is considered the biggest airline in Africa. Stay tuned and let's get into it. This is Bernard and you are watching African Dream Motivation. Without wasting much time, let's begin. The history of Ethiopian Airlines began during the period of the Second World War. The East African Campaign was fought by allies of World War II, mainly from the British Empire, against Italy and its colony of Italian Eastern Africa between June 1940 and November 1941. This led to the liberation of Ethiopia, establishing the country's superiority and dominance in the region against foreign invasion. After the liberation, Emperor Hill Selassie capitalized on his relationship with the United States, Britain, and France during the war to make a proposal to solicit their help in establishing a modernized airline. In 1945, negotiations between the Ethiopian government and the Western world began heading towards a positive outcome. The government continued negotiations with both Transcontinental Air Transport and Western Air Express, which later met into Trans World Airlines. These negotiations led to the signing of an agreement on September 8, 1945, to establish a commercial aviation company in Ethiopia. Ethiopian Airlines was founded on 21st December 1945, with an initial investment of 2.5 million Ethiopian bear which translated into 25,000 shares held entirely by the government. The company was financed by the government of Ethiopia, but was managed by Transworld Airlines, which staffed the company with American pilots, technicians, administrators, and accountants. After these establishments had been made, the company needed to negotiate for London rights in other countries to enhance its operations. The new airline, was able to negotiate and obtain landing rights in five countries, namely Yemen, Egypt, French Somaliland, Saudi Arabia, and Sudan. After this right had been secured, the company began purchasing aircraft to ensure its efficiency and effective service delivery. One of the earliest aircraft purchased was the Douglas C-47 Skytrains, which they ordered five of them. These aircraft were crucial to the company's expansionary vision and growth. The period in the 1950s saw massive improvements towards the start of long-haul routes. In 1950, the company received $1 million of loan from the Export and Import Bank of the United States to enable the carrier to incorporate covert CV-240s. This was a strategic move the company took while aiming at operating international routes. They purchased two of these American aircraft and named them Eagle of Ethiopia and Hill Celeste One. They went on to increase their fleet of aircraft and gradually the company was getting in shape to become a dominant player in the African airline industry. As the Ethiopian airlines dominated their sub-region, they had a vision of expanding and connecting to the west of Africa. For that matter, new and long route aeroplanes had to be ordered in. The period from the 1960s to the 1970s is considered the jet age. Therefore, the suitable aircraft for this era was the Boeing 720B. On 12 August 1960, the company ordered two Boeing 720s, which arrived in December 1962. This led to the first east-west link 
made by an African airline, which began on 8th November 1960, when the Addis Ababa Accra Lagos Morovia route was launched. All this while, Transworld Airlines was efficiently and effectively steering the affairs of the company, helping it to reach all these milestones of a self-sufficient airline company. But they were not going to be there forever, and the Ethiopian government needed to take charge at some point. In 1970, the first renewal of the original 1945 contract changed the role of Transworld Airlines from managers to advisors. This was a transitional journey the airline was taking to properly hand its management over to the Ethiopian government. On its 25th anniversary in 1971, the company was ready to continue without the assistance of Transworld Airlines. Since then, the Ethiopian Airlines have been managed and staffed locally, and their journey to become an outstanding airline has been remarkable. The early 1980s through to the late 1990s demonstrated the resilience and vision-focused nature of the airline company. A couple of aircraft were added to the fleet, including the DHC-5 Buffalo, which arrived in the early 1980s. Also, the Boeing 757 freighter joined the fleet in the 1990s. By 1996, the Ethiopian airline was flying to Bangkok, Beijing, Durban, and Johannesburg. During this period, routes to Ivory Coast and Senegal were also in operation. Adding to its international network, the company saw the incorporation of the Copenhagen and Maputo destinations, as well as New York City and Washington as transatlantic destinations. All this achievement placed the company on an international level and in September 2010, Ethiopian Airlines was officially invited to join Star Alliance under the mentorship of Lufthansa. The carrier became a member of the Alliance in December 2011, which made it the third African-based carrier to do so after Egypt Air and South African Airways had taken the lead. Star Alliance was founded on May 14, 1997 by a group of five leading airlines, namely United, Lufthansa, Air Canada, SAS, and Thai Airways. The goal of the alliance was to simply create a single network for passengers to be able to travel globally from any major city. By joining Star Alliance Network, Ethiopian Airlines had access to more routes, thereby increasing its accessibility to the global market. Over the years, the Ethiopian Airlines has grown to the standard you cannot mention top 5 airlines in the world according to number of destinations served without including them in the list. This brings us to our next chapter. Ethiopian Airlines is a conglomerate consisting of the Ethiopian Airports Enterprise, the passenger airline company, Cargo Airline and Logistic Company, Ethiopian Aviation Academy, Ethiopian In-Flight Catering Services, Ethiopian Maintenance Repair and Overhaul Services, and Ethiopian Hotel and Tourism Services. This is a company that operates in a developmental and strategic time frame. It is one thing to have a vision and another thing to accomplish it. As part of the company's strategic moves, they came up with a 15-year development strategy in 2010 called Vision 2025. In this strategic vision, the airline projected an increase in its fleet to 120 and the number of destinations also to 290 with total passengers carried of 18 million. This is a very strong vision, but considering the airline's history, especially how they were able to exceed their vision 2010, which was set in 2005, this becomes something that is within reach. Ten years after their vision 2025 was launched, their company's total net profit had gone up more than five times, from 1.6 billion Ethiopian bear to 8.9 billion bears. Also in 2020, the revenue shot up to a whooping 120 billion Ethiopian bear. Also in 2020, 
the total number of employees were 14,104. The number of passengers had increased from 3.5 million in 2010 to 12.1 million in 2019. The aircraft was able to carry 9.7 million passengers in 2020 and 525,000 tons of cargo, which was an all-time highest ever since the company was established. Destination served As of June 2020, the airline served 127 international destinations, 22 domestic passenger destinations, and 58 cargo destinations. All these statistics has made it clear that the Ethiopian Airlines serve more destinations in Africa than any other airline. Fleet size Ever since the Ethiopian Airlines was established, it has been known for operating a series of aircraft with series of yearly add-ons. As of 2022, the airline company operates a fleet of Airbus A350, Boeing 737, Boeing 767, Boeing 777, Boeing 787, and Bombardier Q400 aircraft. In total, the company operates 136 active aircraft. These numbers exclude over 30 older fleets of aircraft from which helicopters and light aircraft were available for leasing to government agencies. Also, 41 extra aircraft had been ordered and are waiting for delivery as of June 2022. In terms of fleet size, it has the biggest fleet size on the whole continent of Africa, more than any airline. Ethiopian Aviation Academy the airline has one of the finest aviation schools across the continent, which specializes in training Ethiopians and foreigners for local and international airline companies around the world. Every year, pilots and technicians graduate from both the pilot school, which was inaugurated in 1964, and the aviation maintenance technical school, which was established in 1967. The outstanding performance of the school made the American Federal Aviation Administration accredit the airline's maintenance division with a high-class license. This is key to the company's quality human resource and reliable employee turnover. Ethiopian Skylight Hotel The Ethiopian airline has an elegant five-star hotel in Addis Ababa called Ethiopian Skylight Hotel. The hotel has 373 comfortable modern rooms with suits spread over seven different room types. They have standard king room, premium twin room, family suit, executive suit, junior suit, mini suit, and presidential suit. It is an ultra modern hotel of international standard. Regional impact. In July 2013, Ethiopian Airlines signed a deal for the acquisition of 49% of Malarian carrier Air Malawi. The company was renamed Malarian Airlines and in January 2014, Malarian Airlines began operation. The remaining shareholding is held by the government of Malawi and private Malarian investors. This partnership was to help strengthen the Malarian airline industry. In January 2018, another strategic partnership was established between the Ethiopian Airlines and the government of Zambia. This was also to help relaunch Zambia Airways. In this undertaking, the Ethiopian Airlines had a 45% stake in Zambia Airways. The rest of the shares are held by the Zambian government. Exactly the next month, which was February 2018, Another deal saw the partnership between Ethiopian Airlines and its Togo-based regional airline partner Eski Airlines to establish a career startup in collaboration with the Guinean government. The startup was later referred to as Guinea Airlines. Also in December 2018, Ethiopian Airlines launched a Mozambican subsidiary named Ethiopian Mozambique Airlines. But unfortunately, it ceased operation in May 2021. All these partnerships and alliances were to help the African airline industry grow and most importantly, 
to be able to accomplish their targets set in the vision 2025. COVID-19 and the Ethiopian Cargo and Logistics Services It is of no doubt that the airline industry was one of the most hit industries during the heat of the COVID-19 pandemic. Looking at the annual report of Ethiopian Airlines in 2022, it was clear that there was a reduction in net profit from 8.9 billion to 6.8 billion. But in the midst of all these, the Ethiopian Cargo and Logistics Services saw a huge spike in their operations. The company was able to increase the number of cargo carried in tons from 432,000 tons in 2019 to 525,000 tons in 2020. The company increased its employees from 13,958 to 14,104 that same year. In the first quarter of 2022, the Ethiopian Cargo and Logistics Services which is also Africa's largest network operator, transported more than 50 million COVID-19 test kits from South Korea to the United States and Canada. Also, the airline group has transported 50 million doses of vaccine to more than 28 countries across the globe and became the only African cargo airline to reach such a milestone. Their contribution to the fight against COVID-19 was indeed outstanding. Awards With such outstanding services, the company has been recognized within the sub-region and on the international stage. From 2018 to 2021, the company was awarded on four consecutive times the best African airline. This alone cements a dominance in the region. As you've seen in this video, Ethiopian Airlines is by far the biggest airline in Africa in terms of passengers carried, destination safe, fleet size, and revenue. This is how big the Ethiopian Airline is. Ethiopian Airlines, the new spirit of Africa. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like it, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any new video we upload. Until we meet again in another video, have a wonderful day.